and I am back with Mental Health Chats and we are doing the series on boundaries. And I've got the lovely Nita Armstrong with me. Hello, Nita. How are you? Thank you, Claire. Hello. How are you? Hello, everybody. It's a pleasure um, to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. Well, thank you for being here. And what we're going to look at is how to identify opportunities for managers by setting boundaries. So, Nita, right. I think it would be great, first of all, if you tell everybody where you're calling from, because you're not in the same part of the world as me. Well, I'm definitely not. I'm actually in West Virginia, about 45 minutes from Washington, D.C. Wow, West Virginia is a song, isn't there? We're going to sing the song. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> so who is Nita Armstrong? Oh, thank you, Claire. That's an opportunity. Um, I am a thought partner. I'm a mompreneur, and I'm a dedicated, empathetic leader. Wow. So when you say a thought partner, yes. what do you actually do? I help people think through some strategic initiatives, right? Helping leaders and managers, growing, developing managers, recognize opportunities such as this conversation today. Wow. So when you say managers, opportunities, what do you mean? What do you mean by um, opportunities for managers? Sure, absolutely. There's so many different opportunities specifically focused around boundaries. Um, there's physical boundaries, physical opportunities, intellectual opportunities, emotional opportunities, cultural and financial as well. I can go into depth here in a second. Um, I believe that new and developing managers really have so much influence and they do that through boundaries, right? Setting healthy boundaries. I, I really love that that new and developing managers have so much influence. That's right. And so often we become a manager because we're good at our roles and we don't realise that the role is very, very different to what we did before. And right, so, absolutely. And part of our role as manager is influencing. So how do managers need to influence? Sure, absolutely. I think understanding... Um, what are ways to influence, right? I think boundary setting is a huge tool that managers can use to influence. Now, let's break that down a little bit, right? What is a boundary? So I define boundaries as setting a limit. So it's defined as where you are and where someone else begins. It defines our choices, it defines our belief systems and how we conduct ourselves in relationships. So when it comes to setting boundaries at work, it's having healthy relationships. And this is a great book by Dr. Henry Cloud on boundaries for leaders. I highly recommend it. Um, and we talk about the five concepts of boundaries. I spoke earlier about the physical boundaries, the intellectual boundaries, emotional, cultural, and financial. So when we talk about physical boundaries, we're talking about privacy and personal space, right? It could be as small as, oh, I'm not really comfortable receiving a hug. I'll do a handshake. Or when you come into my office, please just knock on the door to give me a heads up. Mm. How I set boundaries in my physical space is I put in blockers in the earlier part of my day. I'm unavailable from 8.30 to 9.30 every morning so I can get my prep work done and prepare myself for what's expected throughout the day. It could be setting your lunch hours, your office hours, and being clear about your availability for your team. How can you best show up for your team in this physical space? And we talk about intellectual boundaries. These are as personal beliefs, right? Your views and your ideas. Our young leaders are so full of these rich, beautiful ideas. And sometimes while sharing, they're a little conscious of how this is received in a larger space. So how is your idea received in a conversation or a brainstorming session? And how can this idea be incorporated? Should you allow for this to be a part of a larger initiative? Do you just want to hold on to this for a future time? So having an understanding of how can your ideas play a part in your everyday role as a leader? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, emotional boundaries. I love emotional boundaries. That self-awareness and self-regulation aspect. Um, emotion plays a huge part of our day-to-day, -day, right? Mm -hmm. We talk, I've heard your conversations about this, and it's it's so important that young leaders, developing leaders and managers understand that 
understanding our own emotions and self-awareness and being able to regulate and control and doesn't control us in a workplace setting is so crucial. It's when those, oh, I felt guilty by not sharing a certain idea, or maybe I shared too much and I blame myself. And so taking on these like personal emotions and not letting it lead our decisions is so important. Um, number four is the cultural aspect. We are now in a very virtual hybrid culture, yeah. so it's constantly mm -hmm. evolving. And I believe that we are now redefining what communication looks like, leadership looks like, mm -hmm. and trust within teams. And so our young leaders have an idea of how they want to build trust and how they want to cultivate this healthy culture. And I believe that in that cultural space, there's an opportunity to create healthy boundaries, these micro cultures that happen in a larger organization, this new leader comes in with this personal persona and um, this umph, and they're able to kind of really help cultivate a safe space for their team, right? Yeah. Allowing for yeah. new ideas, incorporating new ideas, um, respecting their peers' uh, boundaries and their team's boundaries. Yeah. And just, again, encouraging and that's where that influence comes from right i'm going to allow you space to be yourself but also motivate you and encourage and evolve with you wow and the last piece <laughs> the wow. last piece is the, Let's go to the last one yeah absolutely the financial boundaries um this is you know we don't always think about this i think in a it's important for our leaders, our managers to understand how finance plays into their decisions. Mm -hmm. um, it's how does the money in allocated to the team or the individual, how does that actually drive our strategy and our agenda, right? How can certain decisions impact a certain role? And how does, how should I build trust in that space to continuously evolve our team? And so I truly believe these are the five different opportunities that show up in our leaders on a day-to-day -day basis. And that just presenting yourself and being mindful of how do I show up in this space and how do I cultivate and create that safe psychological safety, that physical aspect? How can I be a true mentor and a leader um, in creating this space and that positive influence? That's absolutely brilliant. And it's nice to see them outlined as five headings that you can think of as a manager, especially when you're going into the role as a manager, you're a new or evolving manager. And right. you know, what we want to think of here is if we set boundaries, how does that actually create opportunities for managers? Exactly. Why is it important? I see boundaries as an opportunity to create freedom, yeah. right? That's, that's a huge statement. Um, so with each boundary, you're able to drive and evolve the team, right? With each opportunity, that cultural, financial, emotional, creating, making a decision, setting a boundary allows for us to say, okay, now we know how to function in this space. Let's evolve and open up further opportunities, right? As a manager, you're creating more opportunities for increased productivity, control, trust, and understanding the team. And which means that the team's going to continuously evolve. The team's going to create that freedom with each and every opportunity. Um, but again, as a leader, it's important not just to create boundaries, but to communicate it effectively and to be very transparent and very, and to a certain degree, you have to be a little assertive, right? You have to be able to define your boundary effectively so that your team is able to comprehend. How do we do that? We understand our team. We take time and we get to know our peers and our team so that we're effectively communicating boundaries. So we're creating that sense of freedom. Mm, that's absolutely amazing. So what would be your top tip to give a new or an emerging manager so that they can create these opportunities by setting boundaries? Absolutely. I think it's important for us to understand ourselves. Um, yeah. And that's just not in the workspace, that's in our personal life as well. I believe that taking time to say, what's important to me before I show up to work is so crucial, right? So that yeah. way you're not constantly evolving and creating confusion. You're not um, showing up and saying, oh, maybe I do like this, but I don't like this. And being 
able to stick stick to what you want, which as a leader, that influence piece plays a huge impact. How you show up every day into every wow. space is how you influence your team. And so you have to know how do you want to show up? Define yourself before you set that boundary. Because once a boundary is set, it gets, you know, this is a respect factor. So the team's going to respect your boundaries. They're going to follow through. You're giving them direction and a sense of um, strategy and agenda. And so coming back through, I think it's taking time to say, what type of leader am I? What type of leader do I want to be? And defining yourself before you show up. I love that. And I was actually told by somebody the other day to really think about how do you want people to remember you? Oh, I love that. As a leader, how do we actually want people to remember us? How do we want our team, if they left, to say, to talk about us? So that's That's absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much, Nita. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who would love to get in touch because you've given such wise words. So where can people actually find you? Absolutely. So I will be on um, Instagram. On I have an HR Effect. HR Effect is my consulting firm. I partner with junior young um, startup organizations along with developing leaders to help them grow into themselves as well as define their teams. Um, and that's HR Effect, E-F-F-E-C-T on Instagram. And then I have a Google website that is HR effect slash home, um, working on my own podcast. Now, just bear with me. This is still developing. So yeah. you'll see me active on Instagram for sure. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Nita, for your wise words and for your time. And um, it's been fantastic to really go into the nitty gritty of what boundaries are. Thank you. Well, and thank you so care. much, Claire. Thank, thank you. you. Enjoy yourself. You too. Take care. Thank you.